Dutch Netherlands is a West Germanic language spoken by around 23 million people as a first language and 5 million people as a second language, constituting the majority of people in the Netherlands where it is the sole official language and Belgium as one of three official languages. It is the third most widely spoken Germanic language, after its close relatives English and German. Outside the Low Countries, it is the native language of the majority of the population of Suriname where it also holds an official status, as it does in Aruba, Curaçao and Sint Maarten, which are constituent countries of the Kingdom of the Netherlands located in the Caribbean. Historical linguistic minorities on the verge of extinction remain in parts of France and Germany, and in Indonesia, while up to half a million native speakers may reside in the United States, Canada and Australia combined. The Cape Dutch dialects of Southern Africa have evolved into Afrikaans, a mutually intelligible daughter language which is spoken to some degree by at least 16 million people, mainly in South Africa and Namibia. Dutch is one of the closest relatives of both German and English and is colloquially said to be roughly in between them. Dutch, like English, has not undergone the High German consonant shift, does not use Germanic umlaut as a grammatical marker, has largely abandoned the use of the subjunctive, and has leveled much of its morphology, including most of its case system. Features shared with German include the survival of two to three grammatical genders—albeit with few grammatical consequences—as well as the use of modal particles, final obstruent devoicing, and a similar word order. Dutch vocabulary is mostly Germanic and incorporates slightly more Romance loans than German but far fewer than English. As with German, the vocabulary of Dutch also has strong similarities with the continental Scandinavian languages, but is not mutually intelligible in text or speech with any of the three. Topic. Name Topic. In both Belgium and the Netherlands, the native official name for Dutch is Nederlands. Sometimes Vlaams Flemish, is used as well to describe standard Dutch in Flanders. Over time, the Dutch language has been known under a variety of names. In Middle Dutch Diet SC, Duutsc, or Dutch was used. It derived from the Old Germanic word Thudisk, which literally means popular or belonging to the populace. In Western Europe this term was used for the language of the local Germanic populace as opposed to Latin, the non-native language of writing and the Catholic Church. In the first text in which it is found, dating from 784, Theodos refers to Anglo-Saxon, the West Germanic dialects of Britain. Although in Britain the name Inglisk replaced Theodos early on, speakers of West Germanic in other parts of Europe continued to use Theodos to refer to their local speech. With the rise of local powers in the Low Countries during the Middle Ages, language names derived from these local polities came in use as well i.e. Vleemsch, Hollandsch, and Brabantsch. The more powerful the local polity, the wider the use of its name for the language became. These names still survive in the corresponding dialect groups spoken today, owing to commercial and colonial rivalry in the 16th and 17th centuries between England and the Low Countries. A cognate of Theodisk, most likely Middle Dutch Duutsc, was borrowed into English and developed into the exonym Dutch, which came to refer exclusively to the people of the Netherlands. A usage of the English term Dutch that includes German survives in the United States in the name Pennsylvania Dutch for a local German dialect and its speakers, commonly believed to be a corruption of their endonym Deutsch. In the Low Countries on the contrary, Deutsch or Deutsch as endonym for Dutch went out of common use and was gradually replaced by the Dutch endonym Nederlands. This designation started at the Burgundian court in the 15th century, although the use of Neder, Laag, Ba, and Inferior, Nether, or Low, to refer to the area known as the Low Counties goes back further in time. The Romans referred to the region as Germania Inferior, Lower Germania. It is a reference to the Low Countries downriver location at the rhine meuse scheldt delta near the North Sea. From 1551 the designation Nederlands received strong competition from the name Nederduits, Low Dutch. Dutch is used here in its archaic sense that covers all continental West Germanic languages. It is a calque of the before-mentioned Roman province Germania Inferior and an attempt by early Dutch grammarians to give their language more prestige by linking it to Roman times. Likewise, Hoogduits, High Dutch, came into use as a Dutch exonym for the German language, spoken in neighboring German states. 
However, 19th century Germany saw the rise of the categorization of dialects, and German dialectologists termed the German dialect spoken in the mountainous south of Germany as Hochdeutsch. High German". Subsequently, German dialects spoken in the north were designated as Niederdeutsch. Low German". The names for these dialects were calced in the Dutch language area as the exonyms Netterduits and Hoogduits. As a result, Nederduits no longer served as a synonym for the Dutch language, and Nederlands prevailed as sole Dutch endonym. It also meant that Hoog high, had to be dropped in one of the two meanings of Hoogduits, leading to the narrowing down of Duits as Dutch exonym for the German language, and Hoogduits as reference for Southern German dialects. History Old Dutch branched off more or less around the same time as Old English Anglo-Saxon, Old High German, Old Frisian and Old Saxon did. The early form of Dutch was a set of Franconian dialects spoken by the Salian Franks in the 5th century, and thus, it has developed through Middle Dutch to Modern Dutch over the course of 15 centuries. During that period, it forced Old Frisian back from the western coast to the north of the Low Countries, and influenced or even replaced Old Saxon spoken in the east contiguous with the Low German area. On the other hand, Dutch has been replaced in adjacent lands in present-day France and Germany. The division into Old, Middle and Modern Dutch is mostly conventional, since the transition between them was very gradual. One of the few moments when linguists can detect something of a revolution is when the Dutch standard language emerged and quickly established itself. The development of the Dutch language is illustrated by the following sentence in Old, Middle and Modern Dutch. Erlosen Saul and Frith Sela Mina Fan then Thea Ginnikont me, Wanda under Managon he was MIT me Old Dutch. Erlosen Sal high in V Reed Seal Mine van Dien die Ginnikon me, Wanda under Menigen high was met me Middle Dutch. Verlossen zal hij in v reed zeal mijn van de genen die genikan mij, want onder menigen hij was met mij modern Dutch, same word order. hij zal mijn zeal in v reed verlossen van de genen die mij genikan, want onder menigen was hij met mij modern Dutch, default word order. He will deliver my soul in peace from those who come unto me, because, amongst many, he was with me English. Topic. Origins Topic. Among the Indo-European languages, Dutch is grouped within the Germanic languages, meaning it shares a common ancestor with languages such as English, German, and the Scandinavian languages. All Germanic languages are subject to the Grimm's law and Werner's law sound shifts, which originated in the Proto-Germanic language and define the basic features differentiating them from other Indo-European languages. This is assumed to have taken place in approximately the mid 1st millennium BCE in the pre Roman Northern European Iron Age. The Germanic languages are traditionally divided into three groups East, now extinct, West, and North Germanic. They remained mutually intelligible throughout the migration period. Dutch is part of the West Germanic group, which also includes English, Scots, Frisian, Low German, Old Saxon, and High German. It is characterized by a number of phonological and morphological innovations not found in North or East Germanic. The West Germanic varieties of the time are generally split into three dialect groups, Ingvianic, North Sea Germanic, Istvianic, Weser Rhine Germanic, and Ermanonic, Elbe Germanic. It appears that the Frankish tribes fit primarily into the Istvianic dialect group with certain Ingvianic influences towards the Northwest, which are still seen in modern Dutch. Topic. Frankish 3rd century, present. Topic. The Frankish language itself is poorly attested. A notable exception is the Bergacker inscription, found near the Dutch city of Tiel, which may represent a primary record of 5th century Frankish. Although some place names recorded in Roman texts such as Vidam modern Dutch, Wad, English, mudflat, could arguably be considered as the oldest single Dutch. Words, the Bergacker inscription yields the oldest evidence of Dutch morphology. However, there is no consensus on the interpretation of the rest of the text. The Franks emerged in the southern Netherlands Salian Franks and central Germany Ripuarian Franks, and later descended into Gaul. The name of their kingdom survives in that of France. 
Although they ruled the Gallo Romans for nearly 300 years, their language, Frankish, became extinct in most of France and was replaced by later forms of the language throughout Luxembourg and Germany in around the 7th century. It was replaced in France by Old French, a Romance language with a considerable Old Frankish influence. However, the Old Franconian language did not die out at large, as it continued to be spoken in the Low Countries, and subsequently evolved into what is now called Old Low Franconian or Old Dutch in the Low Countries. In fact, Old Frankish could be reconstructed from Old Dutch and Frankish loanwords in Old French. Topic: <laughs> Old Dutch, 5th 12th century. Topic. Old Low Franconian or Old Dutch is regarded as the prime ancestor of a separate Dutch language. The Low in Old Low Franconian refers to the Low Countries, where Frankish was only minimally influenced by the High German consonant shift and the Ingvianic nasal spirant law. The High German consonant shift, moving over Western Europe from south to west, caused a differentiation with the Central and High Franconian in Germany. The latter would as a consequence evolve along with Alemannic, Bavarian and Lombardic into Old High German. At more or less the same time the Ingvianic nasal spirant law, moving over Western Europe from west to east, led to the development of Old English or Anglo-Saxon, Old Frisian and Old Saxon. Hardly influenced by either development, Old Dutch remained close to the original language of the Franks, the people that would rule Europe for centuries. The language did however experience developments of its own, such as very early final obstruent devoicing. In fact, the find at Bergacker indicates that the language may already have experienced this shift during the Old Frankish period. Attestations of Old Dutch sentences are extremely rare. The language is mostly recorded on fragmentary relics, and words have been reconstructed from Middle Dutch and loan words from Old Dutch in other languages. The oldest recorded is found in the Salic Law. In this Frankish document written around 510 the oldest Dutch sentence has been identified, Maltho t a friolito, I say to you, I free you, serf, used to free a serf. Another old fragment of Dutch is visc flot after themo uiter, a fish was swimming in the water. The oldest conserved larger Dutch text is the Utrecht baptismal vow 776 to 800 starting with forsakus du diaboli, E C forsacho diaboli. Do you forsake the devil? I forsake the devil. If only for its poetic content, the most famous Old Dutch sentence is probably Heben alle vogale nestes hagunnen, Heine's hik enda tu, what unbidden we knew. All birds have started making nests, except me and you, what are we waiting for? Is dated to around the year 1100, written by a Flemish monk in a convent in Rochester, England. Since the sentence speaks to the imagination, it is often erroneously stated as the oldest Dutch sentence. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Middle Dutch, 12th-15th century. Topic: <inaudible> Old Dutch naturally evolved into Middle Dutch. The year 1150 is often cited as the time of the discontinuity, but it actually marks a time of profuse Dutch writing and during this period a rich medieval Dutch literature developed. There was at that time no overarching standard language, Middle Dutch is rather a collective name for a number of closely related mutually intelligible dialects whose ancestor was Old Dutch. Where Old Dutch fragments are very hard to read for untrained modern Dutch speakers, the various literary works of Middle Dutch are somewhat more accessible. The most notable difference between Old and Middle Dutch is in a feature of speech known as vowel reduction. Round vowels in word final syllables are rather frequent in Old Dutch, in Middle Dutch, such vowels are leveled to a schwa. The Middle Dutch dialect areas were affected by political boundaries. The sphere of political influence of a certain ruler often also created a sphere of linguistic influence, with the language within the area becoming more homogeneous. Following the contemporary political divisions they are in order of importance. West Flemish with the county of Flanders at its center. It had been influential during the earlier Middle Ages the Flemish expansion, but lost prestige to the neighboring Brabantian in the 13th century. Brabantian and related East Flemish, spoken primarily in the Duchy of Brabant and adjacent parts. It was an influential dialect during most of the Middle Ages, during the so-called Brabantian expansion, in which the influence of Brabant was extended outwards into other areas. Hollandic, which had the county of Holland as its heartland, where originally Old Frisian was spoken. 
The people mixed with Frankish settlers from Flanders and Brabant and a new Frankish dialect with a Frisian substrate developed. It was less influential during most of the Middle Ages but became more so in the 16th century during the Hollandic expansion. The Eighty Years' War took place in the southern Netherlands during this period. Limburgish, spoken by the people in the modern-day provinces of Dutch and Belgian Limburg, and adjacent lands in Germany. It was over time tied to different political areas and is therefore the most divergent of the dialects. It was even partly influenced by the High German consonant shift and is the most distant to the later developed standard language to which it contributed little. It was however the earliest Middle Dutch dialect that developed a literary tradition. Since it has Old Saxon and not Low Franconian Old Dutch as its ancestor, Dutch Low Saxon is not strictly a Dutch dialect. However, it was influenced by Middle Dutch since the 14th century and it did play a part in the formation of the standard Dutch language in later periods. It was spoken in the Oversticht territories of the Episcopal Principality of Utrecht and adjacent parts of Gelders. Topic. Modern Dutch 15th century, present. Topic. A process of standardization started in the Middle Ages, especially under the influence of the Burgundian ducal court in Dijon Brussels after 1477. The dialects of Flanders and Brabant were the most influential around this time. The process of standardization became much stronger at the start of the 16th century, mainly based on the urban dialect of Antwerp. The 1585 fall of Antwerp to the Spanish army led to a flight to the northern Netherlands, where the Dutch Republic declared its independence from Spain. This influenced the urban dialects of the province of County of Holland. In 1637, a further important step was made towards a unified language, when the Statenverteling, the first major Bible translation into Dutch, was created that people from all over the New Republic could understand. It used elements from various, even Dutch Low Saxon, dialects but was predominantly based on the urban dialects of Holland of post 16th century. In the southern Netherlands, now Belgium and Luxembourg, developments were different. Under subsequent Spanish, Austrian, and French rule, the standardization of Dutch language came to a standstill. The state, law, and increasingly education used French, yet more than half the Belgian population were speaking a variety of Dutch. In the course of the 19th century the Flemish movement stood up for the rights of Dutch speakers, mostly which were referred to as Flemish. However, the dialect variation was a serious disadvantage in the face of the standardized Francophonie. Since standardization is a lengthy process, Dutch-speaking Belgium associated itself with the standard language that had already developed in the Netherlands over the centuries. Therefore, the situation in Belgium is essentially no different from that in the Netherlands, although there are recognizable differences in pronunciation, comparable to the pronunciation differences between standard British and standard American English. In 1980 the Netherlands and Belgium concluded the Language Union Treaty. This treaty lays down the principle that the two countries must gear their language policy to each other, among other things, for a common system of spelling. Topic. Classification Topic. Indo European languages Germanic, West Germanic, Low Franconian, Dutch, Afrikaans, Dutch based Creoles. Dutch belongs to its own West Germanic sub group, the Low Franconian languages, paired with its sister language Limburgish or East Low Franconian. Its closest relative is the mutually intelligible daughter language, Afrikaans. Other West Germanic languages related to Dutch are German, English and the Frisian languages and the unstandardized languages Low German and Yiddish. Dutch stands out in combining some ingvionic characteristics occurring consistently in English and Frisian and reduced in intensity from west to east over the continental West Germanic plain with dominant Istvionic characteristics, of which some of them are also incorporated in German. Unlike German, Dutch apart from Limburgish has not been influenced at all by the south to north movement of the high German consonant shift and had some changes of its own. The accumulation of these changes resulted over time in separate, but related standard languages with various degrees of similarities and differences between them. For a comparison between the West Germanic languages, see the sections Morphology, Grammar and Vocabulary. Dialects. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dutch dialects are primarily the dialects that are both related with the Dutch language and are spoken in the same language area as the Dutch Standard Language. Although heavily under the influence of the Standard Language, some of them remain remarkably diverse and are found in the Netherlands and northern Belgium. The areas in which they are spoken often correspond with former medieval counties and duchies. The Netherlands but not Belgium distinguishes between a dialect and a streektaal regional language. Those words are actually more political than linguistic because a regional language unites a large group of very different varieties. Such is the case with the Gronings dialect, which is considered a variety of the Dutch Low Saxon regional language, but it is really very distinct from other Low Saxon varieties because of a Frisian substrate. Also, some Dutch dialects are more remote from the Dutch standard language than some varieties of a regional language are. Such is the case with West Flemish, which is considered a Dutch dialect but is far more remote from the standard language than most Dutch Low Saxon varieties are. Within the Netherlands, a further distinction is made between a regional language and a separate language, which is the case with the standardized West Frisian language. It is spoken alongside Dutch in the province of Friesland. Dutch dialects and regional languages are not spoken as often as they used to be, especially in the Netherlands. Recent research by Geert Driesen shows that the use of dialects and regional languages among both Dutch adults and youth is in heavy decline. In 1995, 27% of the Dutch adult population spoke a dialect or regional language on a regular basis, but in 2011, that was no more than 11%. In 1995, 12% of children of primary school age spoke a dialect or regional language, but in 2011, that had declined to 4%. Of the officially recognized regional languages Limburgish is spoken the most in 2011 among adults 54%, among children 31%, and Dutch Low Saxon the least adults 15%, children 1%. The decline of the West Frisian language in Friesland occupies a middle position adults 44%, children 22%. Dialects are most often spoken in rural areas, but many cities have a distinct city dialect. For example, the city of Ghent has very distinct G, E, and R sounds that greatly differ from its surrounding villages. The Brussels dialect combines Brabantian with words adopted from Walloon and French. Some dialects had, until recently, extensions across the borders of other standard language areas. In most cases, the heavy influence of the standard language has broken the dialect continuum. Examples are the Gronings dialect spoken in Groningen as well as the closely related varieties in adjacent East Frisia Germany. South Guelderish is a dialect spoken in Gelderland Netherlands and the closely related varieties in adjacent parts of North Rhine-Westphalia Germany. Limburgish Limburgs is spoken in Limburg Belgium as well as in Limburg Netherlands and extends across the German border. West Flemish West Vlaams is spoken in West Flanders, the western part of Zeelandic Flanders and also in French Flanders, where it virtually became extinct to make way for French. Dialect groups the West Flemish group of dialects, spoken in West Flanders and Zeeland, is so distinct that it might be considered as a separate language variant, although the strong significance of language in Belgian politics would prevent the government from classifying them as such. An oddity of the dialect is that, the voiced velar fricative written as G in Dutch shifts to a voiced glottal fricative written as H in Dutch, while the letter H becomes mute just like in French. As a result, when West Flemings try to talk Standard Dutch, they're often unable to pronounce the G sound, and pronounce it similar to the H sound. This leaves, for example, no difference between held hero and geld money. Or in some cases, they are aware of the problem, and hypercorrect the H into a voiced velar fricative or G sound, again leaving no difference. The West Flemish variety historically spoken in adjacent parts in France is sometimes called French Flemish and is listed as a French minority language, however only a very small and aging minority of the French Flemish population still speaks and understands West Flemish. Hollandic is spoken in Holland and Utrecht, though the original forms of this dialect which were heavily influenced by a West Frisian substratum and, from the 16th century on, by Brabantian dialects are now relatively rare. 
The urban dialects of the Randstad, which are Hollandic dialects, do not diverge from Standard Dutch very much, but there is a clear difference between the city dialects of Rotterdam, The Hague, Amsterdam and Utrecht. In some rural Hollandic areas more authentic Hollandic dialects are still being used, especially north of Amsterdam. Another group of dialects based on Hollandic is that spoken in the cities and larger towns of Friesland, where it partially displaced West Frisian in the 16th century and is known as Stadsfries urban Frisian". Brabantian is named after the historical Duchy of Brabant, which corresponded mainly to the provinces of North Brabant and Southern Gelderland, the Belgian provinces of Antwerp and Flemish Brabant, as well as Brussels where its native speakers have become a minority and the province of Walloon Brabant. Brabantian expands into small parts in the west of Limburg while its strong influence on the East Flemish of East Flanders and Eastern Zeelandic Flanders weakens towards the west. In a small area in the northwest of North Brabant Willemstad, Hollandic is spoken. Conventionally, the South Gwelderish dialects are distinguished from Brabantian, but there are no objective criteria apart from geography to do so. Over 5 million people live in an area with some form of Brabantian being the predominant colloquial language out of the area's 22 million Dutch speakers. Limburgish, spoken in both Belgian Limburg and Netherlands Limburg and in adjacent parts in Germany, is considered as a dialect in Belgium, while having obtained the status of official regional language in the Netherlands. Topic regional languages Topic The Dutch Low Saxon dialect area, comprising the provinces of Groningen, Drenthe and Overijssel, and parts of the province of Gelderland as well. The Isel roughly forms the linguistic watershed here. This group, which is not Low Franconian but instead Low Saxon and close to neighboring Low German, has been elevated by the Netherlands and by Germany to the legal status of Streektal regional language according to the European Charter for Regional or Minority Languages. It is regarded as Dutch for a number of reasons. From the 14th to 15th century onward, its urban centers Deventer, Svola, Kampen, Zutphen and Duisburg have been increasingly influenced by the Western written Dutch and became a linguistically mixed area. From the 17th century onward, it was gradually integrated into the Dutch language area. Dutch Low Saxon used to be at one end of the Low German dialect continuum. However, the national border has given way to dialect boundaries coinciding with a political border, because the traditional dialects are strongly influenced by the national standard varieties. Cross the border dialects now separated by a plain gap also include South Gwelderish and Limburgish on the Dutch side of the border and Meuse Rhenish on the German side of the border. Limburgish has the status of official regional language or Streektal in the Netherlands and Germany, but not in Belgium. It receives protection by Chapter 2 of the European Charter for Regional or Minority Languages. Limburgish has been influenced by the Ripuarian varieties like the Colonian dialect, and has had a somewhat different development since the late Middle Ages. Topic daughter and sister languages Topic Afrikaans, although to a significant degree mutually intelligible with Dutch, is not a dialect but a separate standardized language. It is spoken in South Africa and Namibia. As a daughter language of Dutch, Afrikaans evolved mainly from 17th century Dutch dialects, but was influenced by various other languages in South Africa. West Frisian Westerlauer's Fries, along with Satterland Frisian and North Frisian, evolved from the same branch of the West Germanic languages as Old English i.e. Anglo-Frisian and are therefore genetically more closely related to English and Scots than to Dutch. The different influences on the respective languages, however, particularly that of Norman French on English and Dutch on West Frisian, have rendered English quite distinct from West Frisian, and West Frisian less distinct from Dutch than from English. Although under heavy influence of the Dutch standard language, it is not mutually intelligible with Dutch and considered a sister language of Dutch, like English and German. Topic geographic distribution Topic Dutch is an official language of the Netherlands proper, Belgium, Suriname, the Dutch Caribbean municipal street. Eustatius Saba and Bonaire, Aruba, Curaçao and Sint Maarten. Dutch is also an official language of several international organizations, such as the European Union, Union of South American Nations and the Caribbean Community. At an academic level, Dutch is taught in about 175 universities in 40 countries. About 15,000 students worldwide study Dutch at university. Topic Europa Topic In Europe, Dutch is the majority language in the Netherlands 96% and Belgium 59% as well as a minority language in Germany and northern France's French Flanders, where it is in the ultimate stage of language death. 
Though Belgium as a whole is multilingual, the two regions into which the country is divided Flanders, Francophone Wallonia, bilingual Brussels and small facility zones are largely monolingual. The Netherlands and Belgium produce the vast majority of music, films, books and other media written or spoken in Dutch. Dutch is a monocentric language, with all speakers using the same standard form authorized by the Dutch Language Union based on a Dutch orthography employing the Latin alphabet when writing. In stark contrast to its written uniformity, Dutch lacks a prestige dialect and has a large dialectal continuum consisting of 28 main dialects, which can themselves be further divided into at least 600 distinguishable varieties. Outside the Netherlands and Belgium, the dialect around the German town of Cleve, South Gwelderish, both historically and genetically belongs to the Dutch language. In northwestern France, the area around Calais was historically Dutch-speaking West Flemish, of which an estimated 20,000 are daily speakers. The cities of Dunkirk, Gravelines and Bourbourg only became predominantly French-speaking by the end of the 19th century. In the countryside, until World War I, many elementary schools continued to teach in Dutch, and the Catholic Church continued to preach and teach the Catechism in Dutch in many parishes. During the second half of the 19th century, Dutch was banned from all levels of education by both Prussia and France and lost most of its functions as a cultural language. In both Germany and France, the Dutch standard language is largely absent, and speakers of these Dutch dialects will use German or French in everyday speech. Dutch is not afforded legal status in France or Germany, either by the central or regional public authorities, and knowledge of the language is declining among younger generations. As a foreign language, Dutch is mainly taught in primary and secondary schools in areas adjacent to the Netherlands and Flanders. In French speaking Belgium, over 300,000 pupils are enrolled in Dutch courses, followed by over 23,000 in the German states of Lower Saxony and North Rhine Westphalia, and about 7,000 in the French region of Nord Pas de Calais, of which 4,550 are in primary school. At an academic level, the largest number of faculties of Nierlandistiek can be found in Germany, 30 universities, followed by France, 20 universities, and the United Kingdom, 5 universities. Topic. Asia and Australasia Topic. Topic. Asia Topic. Despite the Dutch presence in Indonesia for almost 350 years, as the Asian bulk of the Dutch East Indies, the Dutch language has no official status there and the small minority that can speak the language fluently are either educated members of the oldest generation, or employed in the legal profession, as certain law codes are still only available in Dutch. Dutch is taught in various educational centres in Indonesia, the most important of which is the Erasmus Language Centre etc. in Jakarta. Each year, some 1,500 to 2,000 students take Dutch courses there. In total, several thousand Indonesians study Dutch as a foreign language. Owing to centuries of Dutch rule in Indonesia, many old documents are written in Dutch. Many universities therefore include Dutch as a source language, mainly for law and history students. In Indonesia this involves about 35,000 students. Unlike other European nations, the Dutch chose not to follow a policy of language expansion amongst the indigenous peoples of their colonies. In the last quarter of the 19th century, however, a local elite gained proficiency in Dutch so as to meet the needs of expanding bureaucracy and business. Nevertheless, the Dutch government remained reluctant to teach Dutch on a large scale for fear of destabilizing the colony. Dutch, the language of power, was supposed to remain in the hands of the leading elite. After independence, Dutch was dropped as an official language and replaced by Malay. Yet the Indonesian language inherited many words from Dutch, words for everyday life as well as scientific and technological terms. One scholar argues that 20% of Indonesian words can be traced back to Dutch words, many of which are transliterated to reflect phonetic pronunciation, e.g., kantor, office, in Indonesian as kantor, while bus bus becomes bis. In addition, many Indonesian words are calques of Dutch, for example, rumah sakit, hospital, is calked on the Dutch ziekenhuis, literally, sick house, kaboon binatang, zoo, on dirantuan, literally, animal garden, undang undang dasar, constitution, from grondwet, literally, ground law. These account for some of the differences in vocabulary between Indonesian and Malay. Topic. Australasia 
Topic. After the declaration of independence of Indonesia, Western New Guinea, the Wild East of the Dutch East Indies, remained a Dutch colony until 1962, known as Netherlands New Guinea. Despite prolonged Dutch presence, the Dutch language is not spoken by many Papuans, the colony having been ceded to Indonesia in 1963. Dutch speaking immigrant communities can also be found in Australia and New Zealand. The 2011 Australian census showed 37,248 people speaking Dutch at home. At the 2006 New Zealand census, 26,982 people, or 0.70% of the total population, reported to speak Dutch to sufficient fluency that they could hold an everyday conversation. Americas <inaudible> 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 In contrast to the colonies in the East Indies, from the second half of the 19th century onwards, the Netherlands envisaged expansion of Dutch in its colonies in the West Indies. Until 1863, when slavery was abolished in the West Indies, slaves were forbidden to speak Dutch, with the effect that local creoles such as Papiamento and Sranen Tongo which were based not on Dutch but rather other European languages, became common in the Dutch West Indies. However, as most of the people in the colony of Suriname, now Suriname worked on Dutch plantations, this reinforced the use of Dutch as a means for direct communication. In Suriname today, Dutch is the sole official language, and over 60% of the population speaks it as a mother tongue. Dutch is the obligatory medium of instruction in schools in Suriname, even for non-native speakers. A further 24% of the population speaks Dutch as a second language. Suriname gained its independence from the Netherlands in 1975 and has been an associate member of the Dutch Language Union since 2004. The lingua franca of Suriname, however, is Sranen Tongo, spoken natively by about a fifth of the population. In Aruba, Bonaire, Curaçao, and Sint Maarten, all parts of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, Dutch is the official language but spoken as a first language by only 7% to 8% of the population, although most native born people on the islands can speak the language since the education system is in Dutch at some or all levels. In the United States, a now extinct dialect of Dutch, Jersey Dutch, spoken by descendants of 17th century Dutch settlers in Bergen and Passaic counties, was still spoken as late as 1921. Other Dutch based Creole languages once spoken in the Americas include Mohawk Dutch in Albany, New York, Berbice in Guyana, Skepi in Essequibo, Guyana, and Negerhollands in the United States Virgin Islands. Pennsylvania Dutch is not a member of the set of Dutch dialects and is less misleadingly called Pennsylvania German. Martin Van Buren, the eighth president of the United States, spoke Dutch as his first language and is the only U.S. president to have spoken a language other than English as his first language. Dutch prevailed for many generations as the dominant language in parts of New York along the Hudson River. Another famous American born in this region who spoke Dutch as a first language was Sojourner Truth. According to the 2000 United States Census, 150,396 people spoke Dutch at home, while according to the 2006 Canadian Census, this number reaches 160,000 Dutch speakers. At an academic level, 20 universities offer Dutch studies in the United States. In Canada, Dutch is the fourth most spoken language by farmers, after English, French and German, and the fifth most spoken non-official language overall by 0.6% of Canadians. Topic. Africa Topic. The largest legacy of the Dutch language lies in South Africa, which attracted large numbers of Dutch, Flemish and other Northwest European farmer in Dutch, Boer settlers, all of whom were quickly assimilated. The long isolation from the rest of the Dutch-speaking world made the Dutch as spoken in Southern Africa evolve into what is now Afrikaans. In 1876, the first Afrikaans newspaper called Die Afrikaans Patriot was published in the Cape Colony. European Dutch remained the literary language until the start of the 1920s, when under pressure of Afrikaner nationalism the local African Dutch was preferred over the written, European-based standard. In 1925, section 137 of the 1909 Constitution of the Union of South Africa was amended by Act 8 of 1925, stating, the word Dutch in Article 137 is hereby declared to include Afrikaans. The Constitution of 1983 only listed English and Afrikaans as official languages. 
It is estimated that between 90% to 95% of Afrikaans' vocabulary is ultimately of Dutch origin. Both languages are still largely mutually intelligible, although this relation can in some fields such as lexicon, spelling and grammar be asymmetric, as it is easier for Dutch speakers to understand written Afrikaans than it is for Afrikaans speakers to understand written Dutch. Afrikaans is grammatically far less complex than Dutch, and vocabulary items are generally altered in a clearly patterned manner, e.g. Vogel becomes vol bird, and region becomes reen rain. In South Africa, the number of students following Dutch at university is difficult to estimate, since the academic study of Afrikaans inevitably includes the study of Dutch. Elsewhere in the world, the number of people learning Dutch is relatively small. It is the third language of South Africa in terms of native speakers approximately 13.5%, of whom 53% are cholerids and 42.4% whites. In 1996, 40% of South Africans reported to know Afrikaans at least at a very basic level of communication. It is the lingua franca in Namibia, where it is spoken natively in 11% of households. In total, Afrikaans is the first language in South Africa alone of about 7.1 million people and is estimated to be a second language for at least 10 million people worldwide, compared to over 23 million and 5 million respectively. For Dutch, Dutch colonial presence elsewhere in Africa, notably Dutch Gold Coast, was too ephemeral not to be wiped out by prevailing colonizing European successors. Belgian colonial presence in Congo and Rwanda Arundi Burundi and Rwanda, held under League of Nations mandate and later UN Trust left little Flemish Dutch legacy, as French was the main colonial language. Phonology for further details on different realizations of phonemes, dialectal differences and example words, see the full article at Dutch Phonology. Topic. Consonants Topic. Unlike other Germanic languages, Dutch doesn't have phonological aspiration of consonants. Like most Germanic languages, the Dutch consonant system did not undergo the High German consonant shift and has a syllable structure that allows fairly complex consonant clusters. Dutch also retains full use of the velar fricatives that were present in Proto-Germanic, but lost or modified in many other Germanic languages. Dutch has final obstruent devoicing, at the end of a word, voicing distinction is neutralized and all obstruents are pronounced voiceless. For example, Dutch geta, good, is, oud, but the related form goed is, ut. Dutch shares this final obstruent devoicing with German the Dutch noun goed is pronounced ut, the adjective gouden is pronounced oud n, like the German noun gold, pronounced limit, adjective golden, pronounced ldn versus English gold and golden, both pronounced with d. Voicing of pre-vocalic initial voiceless alveolar fricatives occurs, although less in Dutch than in German Dutch zeven, German sieben with z versus English seven and low German seven with s, and also the shift, theta, d. Dutch shares only with Low German the development of XS, SS, Dutch Vossen, Ossen and Low German Voss, Ossen versus German Fuch, Oxen and English Foxes, Oxen, and also the development of per foot, XT, though it is far more common in Dutch Dutch Zacht and Low German Sacked versus German Samft and English Soft, but Dutch Cracked versus German Kraft and English Kraft. Notes is not a separate phoneme in Dutch, but is inserted before vowel initial syllables within words after a, and and often also at the beginning of a word. The realization of r phoneme varies considerably from dialect to dialect and even between speakers in the same dialect area. Common realizations are an alveolar trill r, alveolar tap, uvular trill, voiced uvular fricative, and alveolar approximant. The realization of also varies somewhat by area and speaker. The main realization is a labiodental approximant, but some speakers, particularly in the south, use a bilabial approximant B or a labiovelar approximant W. The lateral, L, is slightly velarized postvocalically in most dialects, particularly in the north. X, and, may be true velars X, and, uvular chi, and, or palatal C, and, the more palatal realizations are common in southern areas, while uvulars are common in the north. Some northern dialects have a tendency to devoice all fricatives regardless of environment. This is particularly common with but can affect others as well. And 
are not native phonemes of Dutch, and usually occur in borrowed words, like show and baggage, baggage but may occur in situations where s, and z are palatalized. Is not a native phoneme of Dutch and only occurs in borrowed words, like garçon. Vowels like English, Dutch did not develop by mutation as a morphological marker and shares with most Germanic languages the lengthening of short vowels in stressed open syllables, which has led to contrastive vowel length that is used as a morphological marker. Dutch has an extensive vowel inventory. Vowels can be grouped as back-rounded, front-unrounded and front-rounded. They are also traditionally distinguished by length or tenseness. Vowel length is not always considered a distinctive feature in Dutch phonology, because it normally co-occurs with changes in vowel quality. One feature or the other may be considered redundant, and some phonemic analyses prefer to treat it as an opposition of tenseness. However, even if not considered part of the phonemic opposition, the long, tense vowels are still realized as phonetically longer than their short counterparts. The changes in vowel quality are also not always the same in all dialects, and in some there may be little difference at all, with length remaining the primary distinguishing feature. And while it is true that older words always pair vowel length with a change in vowel quality, new loanwords have reintroduced phonemic oppositions of length. Compare zone n zen sons versus zone zn zone versus zonen zo n n sons or crows cross mug versus cruise k r u s cruise notes the distinction between i y u and i y u is only slight and may be considered allophonic for most purposes however some recent loanwords have introduced distinctively long i y u making the length distinction marginally phonemic the long close mid vowels e o stroke o are realized as slightly closing diphthongs e o o in many northern dialects the long open midvowels only occur in a handful of loanwords, mostly from French. In certain Belgian Dutch varieties, they may also occur as realizations of i o e o. The long close and close midvowels are often pronounced more closed or as centering diphthongs before an r in the syllable coda. This may occur before coda l as well. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Diphthongs. Topic. Unique to the development of Dutch is the collapse of older ol, ul, al plus dental into ol plus dental, followed by vocalization of pre-consonantal, l, and after a short vowel, creating the diphthong, u, e.g., Dutch goad, zout and bout corresponds with low German gold, salt, bolt, German gold, sols, balt and English gold, salt, bolt. This is the most common diphthong along with, i, o, e. All three are commonly the only ones considered unique phonemes in Dutch. The tendency for native English speakers is to pronounce Dutch names with i, written as ij or a, as a, like the English vowel y, which does not normally lead to confusion among native listeners, since in a number of dialects, e.g. in Amsterdam, the same pronunciation is heard. In contrast, i and i are rare in Dutch and occur only in some words. The long tense Diphthongs, while they are indeed realized as proper diphthongs, are generally analyzed phonemically as a long, tense vowel followed by a glide, j, or All diphthongs end in a close vowel, i, y, u. They are grouped here by their first element. Phonotactics <laughs> 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 The syllable structure of Dutch is c, 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 v, c, 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 c. Many words, as in English, begin with three consonants, for example, strat, strati, street. There are words that end in four consonants, e.g. herf, erf, autumn, erkst, arext, worst, interessant, most interesting, sterkst per stone erkst, strongest, the last three of which are superlative adjectives. The highest number of consonants in a single cluster is found in the word sleschtschrijvend, slechtskree, vant, writing worst, with seven consonant phonemes. Similar is angstschreu, saintesexer u, scream in fear, with six in a row. Topic. Polder Dutch Topic. 
A notable change in pronunciation has been occurring in younger generations in the provinces of Utrecht, North and South Holland, which has been dubbed Polder Dutch by Jan Stroop. These speakers pronounce I J, A, O, O, and Ui, which used to be pronounced as I, U, and Oe, increasingly lowered, as I, O, and I, respectively. Instead, E, O, and O stroke are pronounced as diphthongs now, as A, O, and Oi, respectively, which makes this change an instance of a chain shift. This change is interesting from a sociolinguistic point of view because it has apparently happened relatively recently, in the 1970s, and was pioneered by older well-educated women from the upper middle classes. The lowering of the diphthongs has long been current in many Dutch dialects, and is comparable to the English Great Vowel Shift, and the diphthongization of long high vowels in modern High German, which centuries earlier reached the state now found in Polder Dutch. Stroop theorizes that the lowering of open mid to open diphthongs is a phonetically natural and inevitable development, and that Dutch, after having diphthongized the long high vowels like German and English, should have lowered the diphthongs like German and English as well. Instead, he argues, this development has been artificially frozen in an intermediate state by the standardization of Dutch pronunciation in the 16th century, where lowered diphthongs found in rural dialects were perceived as ugly by the educated classes and accordingly declared substandard. Now, however, in his opinion, the newly affluent and independent women can afford to let that natural development take place in their speech. Stroop compares the role of Polder Dutch with the urban variety of British English pronunciation called Estuary English. Among Belgian and Surinamese Dutch speakers and speakers from other regions in the Netherlands, this vowel shift is not taking place. <laughs> Grammar Dutch is grammatically similar to German, such as in syntax and verb morphology for a comparison of verb morphology in English, Dutch and German, see Germanic weak verb and Germanic strong verb. Grammatical cases have largely fallen out of use and are now mostly limited to pronouns and a large number of set phrases. Inflected forms of the articles are also often found in surnames and toponyms. Standard Dutch uses three genders to differentiate between natural gender and three when discerning grammatical gender. But for most non-Belgian speakers, the masculine and feminine genders have merged to form the common gender de, while the neuter het remains distinct as before. This gender system is similar to those of most continental Scandinavian languages. As in English, but to a lesser degree, the inflectional grammar of the language e.g., adjective and noun endings has simplified over time. Topic. Verbs and tenses Topic. When grouped according to their conjugational class, Dutch has four main verb types, weak verbs, strong verbs, irregular verbs and mixed verbs. Weak verbs are the most numerous verbs, constituting about 60% of all verbs. In weak verbs, the past tense and past participle are formed with a dental suffix. Weak verbs with past in de Weak verbs with past in testrong verbs are the second most numerous verb group. This group is characterized by a vowel alternation of the stem in the past tense and perfect participle. Dutch distinguishes between seven classes of strong verbs with some internal variants. Dutch is known for its large group of half-strong verbs. These have either a weak past tense and a strong participle or a strong past tense and a weak participle. Finally there are also strong verbs that don't neatly fit in any of the seven classes. The following table shows the vowel alternations in more detail. It also shows the number of roots bare verbs that belong to each class, variants with a prefix are excluded. In Dutch the irregular verbs are the least numerous, but most used verb forms. Topic. Genders and cases as in English, the case system of Dutch and the subjunctive have largely fallen out of use, and the system has generalized the dative over the accusative case for certain pronouns nl, me, je, n, me, u, li, me, d versus de, mish, mir, dick, dir. While standard Dutch has three grammatical genders, this has few grammatical consequences and the masculine and feminine gender are often merged into a common gender in the Netherlands but not in Belgium n, none, nl, li, common and neuter, in Belgium masculine, feminine and neuter is in use. 
Modern Dutch has mostly lost its case system. However, certain idioms and expressions continue to include now archaic case declensions. The article has just two forms, de en het, more complex than English, which has only the. The use of the older inflected form den in the dative or accusative as well as use of der in the dative are restricted to numerous set phrases, surnames and toponyms. In modern Dutch, the genitive articles de and der are commonly used in idioms. Other usage is typically considered archaic, poetic or stylistic. In most circumstances, the preposition van is instead used, followed by the normal definitive article de or het. For the idiomatic use of the articles in the genitive, see for example masculine singular de dwivels lit, of the devil common proverbial meaning, seething with rage feminine singular het wardenboek der fries tal the dictionary of the Frisian language neuter singular de vrouw de hoises the lady of the house plural de wortgang der werken the progress of public works in contemporary usage the genitive case still occurs a little more often with plurals than with singulars as the plural article is der for all genders and no special noun inflection must be taken account of der is commonly used in order to avoid reduplication of van, e.g. het merendiel der gedichten van de auteur instead of het merendiel van de gedichten van de auteur, the bulk of the author's poems. There is also a genitive form for the pronoun die, dat, that one, those ones, namely deans for masculine and neuter singulars occurrences of dire for feminine singular and all plurals are extremely rare. Although usually avoided in common speech, this form can be used instead of possessive pronouns to avoid confusion. Compare hij vertled over zijn zoon en zijn vrouw. He told about his son and his own wife. hij vertled over zijn zoon en deens vrouw. He told about his son and the latter's wife. Analogically, the relative and interrogative pronoun we, who. Has the genitive forms weens and weir corresponding to English, whose, but less frequent in use. Dutch also has a range of fixed expressions that make use of the genitive articles, which can be abbreviated using apostrophes. Common examples include s octans, with s as abbreviation of day, in the morning, and desnudes, lit, of the need, translated, if necessary. The Dutch written grammar has simplified over the past 100 years. Cases are now mainly used for the pronouns, such as ik, I, mij, me, me, mijn, my, we, who, weens, whose, masculine or neuter singular, weer, whose, feminine singular, masculine, feminine or neuter plural. Nouns and adjectives are not case inflected, except for the genitive of proper nouns, names, s, s or. In the spoken language cases and case inflections had already gradually disappeared from a much earlier date on probably the 15th century as in many continental West Germanic dialects. Inflection of adjectives is more complicated. The adjective receives no ending with indefinite neuter nouns in singular as with een, en, a, en, and e in all other cases. This was also the case in Middle English, as in a good man. Note that feats belongs to the masculine, feminine category, and that water and huis are neuter. An adjective has no e if it is in the predicative, de soep is cowed. More complex inflection is still found in certain lexicalized expressions like de heer de hoises, literally, the man of the house, etc. These are usually remnants of cases, in this instance, the genitive case which is still used in German, cf. Der Herr des Hauses and other inflections no longer in general use today. In such lexicalized expressions remnants of strong and weak nouns can be found too, e.g. in het jar des Herren anno domini, where n is actually the genitive ending of the weak noun. Also in this case, German retains this feature. Topic. Word order Topic. Dutch shares much of its word order with German. Dutch exhibits subject-object-verb word order, but in main clauses the conjugated verb is moved into the second position in what is known as verb second or V2 word order. This makes Dutch word order almost identical to that of German, but often different from English, which has subject-verb-object word order and has since lost the V2 word order that existed in Old English. An example sentence used in some Dutch language courses and textbooks is 
Ik kan mijn pen niet vinden omdat het veel te donker is, which translates into English word for word as, I can my pen not find because it far too dark is, but in standard English word order would be written, I cannot find my pen because it is far too dark. If the sentence is split into a main and subclause and the verbs highlighted, the logic behind the word order can be seen. Main clause. Ik kan mijn pen niet vinden. Verbs are placed in the final position, but the conjugated verb, in this case, kan, can, is made the second element of the clause. Subclause. Omdat het veel te donker is. The verb or verbs always go in the final position. In an interrogative main clause the usual word order is, conjugated verb followed by subject, other verbs in final position. Kun jij je pen niet vinden? Literally. Can you your pen not find? Can't you find your pen? In the Dutch equivalent of a wh question the word order is, interrogative pronoun or expression plus conjugated verb plus subject, other verbs in final position. Warum kun jij je pen niet vinden? Why can you your pen not find? Why can't you find your pen? In a tag question the word order is the same as in a declarative clause. Jij kunt je pen niet vinden? You can your pen not find? You can't find your pen? A subordinate clause does not change its word order. Kun jij je pen niet vinden omdat het veel te donker is? Can you your pen not find because it far too dark is? Can you not find your pen because it's far too dark? Topic: <laughs> Diminutives. Topic: In Dutch, the diminutive is used extensively. It is the nuances of meaning expressed by the diminutive which make it peculiarly unique Dutch but also difficult to master for non-native speakers. It is a very productive and formed by adding one of the suffixes to the noun in question, depending on the latter's phonological ending. Je for ending in b, c, d, t, f, g, ch, k, p, v, x, z or s, nif nifia male cousin, nephew. pje for ending in m, boom, tree, boom j, Kje for ending in ing, koning, king, koning j. The ing sound transforms into nk, but vondeling vondeling get j, foundling. Tje for ending in h, j, l, n, r, w, or a vowel other than y, zone zone j, kiss. A single open vowel is doubled when adding tje, would change the pronunciation, auto auto at j, car. Tje for ending in y and for abbreviations, baby baby. Tje, cd cd. Tje, a4 a4. Tje, etje for ending in b, l, n, ing or r preceded by a short lax vowel, bal baletje. Ball. Final consonant is doubled except for ing to preserve the vowel. S shortness, the diminutive suffixes k from which tje has derived by palatalization, eek, ski, i.e. only for words ending ch, k, p, or s, chi instead of kje, and pi instead of pje are used in southern dialects, and the forms ending on ie as well in northern urban dialects. Some of these form part of expressions that became standard language, like een maki, from gemic equals ease. The noun yoke young boy has, exceptionally, only the diminutive form jochi, also in Standard Dutch. The form k is also found in many women's given names, Janaki, Marika, Marijka, Mika, Make etc. In Dutch, the diminutive is not merely restricted to nouns, but can be applied to numerals the two of us, pronouns anderensja, tet a tet, verbal particles moji, shotgun marriage, and even prepositions to g. Dessert. Most notable however, are the diminutive forms of adjectives and adverbs. The former take a diminutive ending and thus function as nouns, the latter remain adverbs and always have the diminutive with the s appended, e.g. adjective, grown, green, noun, grown j. Rookie. Adverb, even, just. Adverb, eventies, just a minute.
Some nouns have two different diminutives, each with a different meaning, blom flower, blompje lit, small flower, but blometje lit, also, small flower, meaning bouquet. A few nouns exist solely in a diminutive form, e.g. zeparge seahorse, while many, e.g. maizje girl, originally a diminutive of meid maid, have acquired a meaning independent of their non-diminutive forms. A diminutive can sometimes be added to an uncountable noun to refer to a single portion, ijs ice, ice cream ijs je ice cream treat, cone of ice cream, beer beer beert je. Some diminutive forms only exist in the plural, e.g. clearties clothing. When used to refer to time, the Dutch diminutive form can indicate whether the person in question found it pleasant or not, inert j kletsen chatting for a little. Our, the diminutive can, however, also be used pejoratively. Hij was weer een's het. Manet j. He acted as if he was the little man. Topic: <laughs> Pronouns and determiners. Topic: There are two series of personal pronouns, subject and object's pronouns. The forms on the right-hand sides within each column are the unemphatic forms, those not normally written are given in brackets. Only ons and you do not have an unemphatic form. The distinction between emphatic and unemphatic pronouns is very important in Dutch. Emphatic pronouns in English use the reflexive pronoun form, but are used to emphasize the subject, not to indicate a direct or indirect object. For example, I gave to myself the money is reflexive but I myself gave the money to someone else, is emphatic. Like in English, Dutch has generalized the dative over the accusative case for all pronouns, e.g. do me, je, eng me, you, versus germ mich, mir dick, dir. There is one exception, the standard language prescribes that in the third person plural, hen is to be used for the direct object, and hun for the indirect object. This distinction was artificially introduced in the 17th century by grammarians, and is largely ignored in spoken language and not well understood by Dutch speakers. Consequently, the third-person plural forms hun and hen are interchangeable in normal usage, with hun being more common. The shared unstressed form z is also often used as both direct and indirect objects and is a useful avoidance strategy when people are unsure which form to use. Dutch shares also with English the presence of h pronouns, e.g. Do hij, hem, har, hun and eng he, him, her versus germer, ihn, ihr, enen. Topic. Compounds Topic. Like most Germanic languages, Dutch forms noun compounds, where the first noun modifies the category given by the second Topic. Dog house. Unlike English, where newer compounds or combinations of longer nouns are often written in open form with separating spaces, Dutch like the other Germanic languages either uses the closed form without spaces boomhut. Topic treehouse or inserts a hyphen VVD Cory Fee equals outstanding member of the VVD, a political party. Like German, Dutch allows arbitrarily long compounds, but the longer they get, the less frequent they tend to be. The longest serious entry in the Van Dale Dictionary is Wippenstillstandsunderhandling ceasefire negotiation. Leafing through the Articles of Association statuten, one may come across a 30-letter Vertigenwortigingsbevogdide authorization of representation. An even longer word cropping up in official documents is Ziektekostenverzekeringsmaatschappij health insurance company, though the shorter Ziektekostenverzekerar health insurer is more common. Notwithstanding official spelling rules, some Dutch-speaking people, like some Scandinavians and German speakers, nowadays tend to write the parts of a compound separately, a practice sometimes dubbed de Engelszikte the English disease. Topic. Vocabulary Topic. Dutch vocabulary is predominantly Germanic in origin, with loanwords accounting for 20%. The main foreign influence on Dutch vocabulary since the 12th century and culminating in the French period has been French and Northern oil languages, accounting for an estimated 6.8% of all words, or more than a third of all loanwords. Latin, which was spoken in the southern Low Countries for centuries, and subsequently played a major role as the language of science and religion, follows with 6.1%. 
High German and Low German were influential until the mid-19th century and account for 2.7%, but these are mostly unrecognizable since many have been «Dutchified», e.g. German Fremdeling Dutch Vriemdeling. From English Dutch has borrowed words since the middle of the 19th century, as a consequence of the increasing power and influence of Britain and the United States. The share of English loanwords is about 1.5%, but this number is still on the increase. Conversely, Dutch contributed many loanwords to English, accounting for 1.3% of its lexicon. The main Dutch dictionary is the Van Dale Groot Woordenboek der Nederlandse Taal, which contains some 268,826 headwords. In the field of linguistics, the 45,000 page Woordenboek der Nederlandse Taal is also widely used. This scholarly endeavor took 147 years to complete and contains all recorded Dutch words from the early Middle Ages onward. Topic. Spelling and writing system Topic. The official spelling is set by the Wet Schrijfwijs en Nederlandse Taal Law on the Writing of the Dutch Language, Belgium 1946, Netherlands 1947, based on a 1944 spelling revision, both amended in the 1990s after a 1995 spelling revision. The Wardenlijst Nederlandse Taal, more commonly known as Het Grone Bokje, i.e. The Green Booklet, because of its color, is usually accepted as an informal explanation of the law. Dutch is written using the Latin script. Dutch uses one additional character beyond the standard alphabet, the digraph ij. It has a relatively high proportion of doubled letters, both vowels and consonants, due to the formation of compound words and also to the spelling devices for distinguishing the many vowel sounds in the Dutch language. An example of five consecutive doubled letters is the word voradus food storage container. The diaresis Dutch, trema, is used to mark vowels that are pronounced separately when involving a pre or suffix, and a hyphen is used when the problem occurs in compound words. For example, bainvloed, influenced, but z eent see duck. Generally, other diacritical marks occur only in loanwords. However, the acute accent can also be used for emphasis or to differentiate between two forms, and its most common use is to differentiate between the indefinite article een, a, n, and the numeral aen, one. Topic. See also. Topic. Bargones. Dutch Braille. Dutch grammar. Dutch language union. Dutch linguistic influence on military terms Dutch literature Dutch name Dutch orthography Dutch-based Creole languages Flemish French Flemish Grand dictation of the Dutch language Indo-European languages Istvewens List of English words of Dutch origin List of territorial entities where Afrikaans and Dutch are official languages Low Deutsch, Low Franconian, Meuse Rhenish, Middle Dutch, Old Frankish. Topic. Notes. Topic. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. Bibliography Topic Topic External Links Topic Dutch Language at Curly The Nederlandse Taluni, Dutch Language Union Learn Dutch, Zeer Goat Interactive Lessons for Learning Dutch Vocabulary and Grammar.